Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you a time-lapse video of my sketch in front of Victoria Theater. Now instead of the usual pen and watercolor, I've decided to use pencils. So these are the Creta Color Nero pencils that are used for sketching. The sketchbook is a Kearns and Papier watercolor sketchbook. So why did I choose to use pencil this time? Well, I just want to try something different. As you can see right now, I am drawing the exterior boundary of the buildings. I draw from the exterior and then I add details inside. I find that this is a bit easier. Also, when sketching, I try to draw elements that are in the foreground first before the background because the foreground always overlaps the background. You should draw the foreground subjects first. My initial plan was to use all the four pencils so that I can get thin lines instead of having to draw with a blunt pencil. But um, in this case, I just kept on drawing without switching the pencils. With a blunt pencil, it is quite difficult to draw details. So if you are someone who likes to draw a lot of details but you want to learn how to draw a bit looser, then you can try drawing with a blunt pencil. This will help you sketch a bit looser. The branches of the trees are tedious to draw, so I just scribble them, pointing towards the sky. I did not draw exactly how the trees look right in front of me. If you want to, if you have time, you can actually draw the trees slowly, draw them accurately, and it will actually make your sketch look nicer. So now I'm just adding the finishing touches before I add watercolor. I'm using a rosemary pocket brush to add some color to the sky. That's French ultramarine with some burnt sienna and some cerulean blue chromium. I colored the sky first because that is the largest shape. I also added some sky color into the trees because the tree is not going to cover the sky completely. And I added some yellow to the leaves and also to the ground because the field in front of the theater is actually yellow green. So I added some yellow later on I'll be doing some layering. So I like the yellow to show through. And for the shadow area of the theater, I use French Ultramarine with uh, Quinacridone Red with some Burnt Sienna. So I try to use some wet on wet technique so you can see some color transition in the shadow area. This building is backlit so the front is actually in shadow which is why I covered um, that shape in shadow. And now I am adding some green color, green paint to the trees. The paint that I am using is sap green. I added some ultramarine for the darker areas to make it darker. So at this point, I think I have to wait for the paint to dry before I add in another layer. So. For the branches, usually I would use French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. That would give me a very nice granulating, a very textural um, color. And now I add in all the shadow details to give this sketch extra contrast. By the way, the sun is shining from the left, so the walls that are facing the sun are left white. I took around 12 to 15 minutes to create the pencil sketch and for the watercolor section I probably took around 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I actually painted this very very quickly so this is a very loose sketch. Sometimes to get the loose sketch you have to draw and paint very quickly. So this is the completed sketch. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.